hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel again and today uh, we are going to continue our last project that we are we were working on uh, creating the layout using the snap kit and uh, only using the code okay so we are we were using the snap kit framework in this uh, demo project and we are uh, like here in the last video we have already created this carousel view and uh, showing all the images uh, like this in the carousel format okay i will suggest you to go and watch my last two videos so you will understand better how it is working and how we can create all the layout using the snapkit framework or the ns layout constraint i'm using the snapkit here okay so let's continue adding the labels here so i will go to carousel collection view cell and uh, here we will need a like button or first we will create the title label or maybe i think we should have a like button first so it will be fixed here and our label should be from left to right uh, to this button so we should have the like like button first. I will create lazy like button that will be a UI button. Let button equal to UI button and click on this button. And now I'm going to add this button on the content view. We will add the constraint, SNP dot make constraints. So the width of this button is equal to I think 30 pixels, and same for the height. Okay, and the top of this button, I want it equal to the carousel view. So this is view. So that's an e dot bottom, and the offset is, should be eight pixel is sufficient. And from the right. It should be equal to the super view and the uh, inset of 20 pixels. So it will be uh, 20 pixels from the right and 8 pixels from the top. Top of the uh, carousel view. From the carousel view, it is uh, 8 pixels uh, below. Okay. So the like button is implemented. Now we will create a title label. It will be of UI label type like label equal to UI label return this label. All right, and uh, I want to add this label on the content. And then I will add the constraint SNP dot make constraint dollar zero dot its left should be equal to the super view, but a twenty pixel padding from the left. Uh, top it should also equal to the Carousel view bottom and offset should be 8 pixels or uh, might be we want the 4 pixel offset from the bottom of carousel view and the right of this label is equal to the like buttons 
left corner and it should also have a padding of 80 i think uh, this is uh, the three constraint we need for the title label okay because we don't want to have the width oh sorry uh, the height because uh, the default height it, it will be automatically calculated for the label like 20 pixels okay and uh, now i will create a description label here so for the description label uh, the left should be equal to 20 pixel the top will be title label bottom and uh, the spacing between the description label and title label will be 4 pixels and the right will be uh, same as the like button the left side of the like button so description label also are not need any okay uh, one more thing what we want to do here is label dot font we need to add some font so we can uh, we can specify what which is the, the title and which is the description dot font equal to ui font dot system font of size uh, system of size i think 20 pixels uh, is enough for the description all right so in the in this model we have all these values and we want to add these values to this uh, specific element so instead of doing this here i will i would like to create a function uh, that sub ui which will have a cell model and it should also be private it won't be visible from the outside of the cell and uh, i will optionally unwrap this cell model the model the cell model as it will simply return the flow from here now this is what we want to do here we don't want to set these values here. Set up UI and we will pass cell model into it. And now title label text equal to cell model dot title description description label I think description label yeah so text equal to cell model dot description right and uh, to show the image on the like button like button dot set image so we need an image according to the value of like like or dislike so we will do it here like this image cell model dot like if it is like then we will have a UI image. Sorry. UI image named. I think it is a heart fill. And if it is false, then we will have a different image that is heart uh, empty. I need to unwrap it because we have added it as an option. I think we don't need to add it as an option. Okay, now I will pass it image and normal. And let's try to build it. Yeah, pretty successful. Now I will run it and hopefully it will work. That was our desired screen design it is not working again why it is not working so, so we have all these values here and the cell model is also 
go back in the cell mode again. Let me add a big point. Added everything here. What should be the issue? Oh, right, right, right. We haven't, uh, we haven't removed the uh, height. We need to recalculate it uh, because we have these two lab uh, labels. In the bottom, so we want to subtract a value. So I will create a private let erosion adding and will be of easy block. And I think 60 will be sufficient for both because. Uh, I think we have added the 30 pixel for the title label and 12 pixel for the description label. Okay, so it is uh, like 28, 28 pixel only. But uh, label, I think it's uh, it's height up around 20 pixel. So it it is not more than 20, uh, 40 pixel. But for some few, uh, showing some space at the bottom, we are going to subtract the 60 pixel. Now let's try to run it. Yeah, that's this is what we want. And the collection it is showing the teal color, I think, because we have given it here. So now we give it a white color. Now let's try to run it. Okay. So you can see it is working fine now as per our description and what we wanted to have. Like let me show you this tutorial. We have this and uh, it is looking exactly similar to our previous design. Right. So I think this will help you in creating the complex view as well. It is I, I found it uh, you know it is a little bit time taking uh, because we don't have any visual content and visual uh, uh, visual constraint making uh, tools as we have in the storyboard uh, so it takes some time to calculate and to make constraints uh, according to our design but once you are uh, once you are going to use it you will be habitual to this and you will make it very easily and very uh, in very less time. Okay, and you can also copy and paste it the same if you are going to use this kind of label on the another uh, like on another screen or another cell. So you can copy and paste it here. You just need to change this constraint on other things like the uh, fonts and the text and all the other mod modified things will be same for the. All the labels or all the elements, so it, it is very useful thing, and uh, I prefer to use this thing in a bigger project. Like uh, if we uh, multiple developers are working on the same project, then we, uh, there are lots of chances of having the conflicts in the storyboard file. So it is uh, you know very very uh, nice nice to use the code level to make your UI by uh, the code and the layout constraint. So the chances of conflicts is reduced around 92. I mean, 100 percent in fact. If uh, both developers are not working on the same file. Okay, so guys, this is it for the Snapkit tutorial. I hope it helped you a lot, and uh, you can share it with your friends and colleagues. Uh, they they will also get help from this, and uh, they will learn a lot from this. And ask them to subscribe my channel so it will uh, help me to uh, create more videos for you guys. And in the next video, I'm going to create a video uh, 
for the localization because I saw many developers uh, which are juniors or have less experience struggle with the localization, like how to manage this uh, localization things in the application. So I will show you a very, very easy uh, concept of localizations in uh, which you can use in your applications. Okay. So thank you for watching my video. Keep sharing my videos. Thank you so much.